Well, you can never please some people, can you? What's his name? Yanis Satskis. It's a good thing, Yanis, all right? Get that in your head. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. So I realized I didn't run through the last fixtures. Uh, so I'm gonna do it now. So where do we leave off two episodes ago? It was Fulham, wasn't it? Yeah, we went on to lose against West Ham. Alban Lafont just had a horrendous game. He was just letting he was just letting them in. A one all against Sunderland. We scored. Then of course they equalise two minutes after. We beat Espanyol 4-2. Lovely game. Danny Power getting on the score sheet twice. But Daniel Sturridge plays for them. What a weird career move that is for him. And then we had a 3-3 against Arsenal, they scored in the 89th minute via Olivier Giroud. We're through to the next round of the EFL Cup on penalties. Shouldn't have taken that long, but it did. Well, and you obviously saw those two wins against West Brom and Estoril. And now we go on to play Chelsea and Liverpool. So two tough tests for us, but hopefully we can get through it. On to the game. And you join us here at Villa Park for a Premier League game between Aston Villa and Chelsea. Both sides come into this game after wins in the Europa League. Chelsea's more convincing 7-1 puts them favourites for this game. Aston Villa line up like this. They are sticking with their 4-2-3-1 narrow formation with Alban Lafont in goal, Almami Torre, Ponk, Ehrman and Robertson as the back line. Lucas Silva and Matuidi in the centre of the park. The three attacking midfielders are Kerem, Sebalos and Jack Grealish, with Lukas Ahovic as the lone striker. Chelsea also go with a 4-2-3-1, with Courtois in goal, Azpilicueta, Lindelof, Romagnoli and recently transferred from Aston Villa, Josh Tymon as the back line. Kante and Adrian Silva as the central midfielders, with Willian on the right, Oliver in the middle, and Lacazette on the left, with Kalthoff as the lone striker. And we kick off here against Chelsea. Massive game in it, absolutely massive. Especially considering where we are in the table, which is not pleasing. Kante with a horrendous ball out to Aspilicueta, out for a throw-in. Um, I'm a bit nervous, you know. Oh, it's never good when there's a highlight in the second minute, but it looks like it's us, Zahovic with it, and it's a... It's a hopeful shot, that's all I can say. Oh, another highlight. Looks like it's theirs. Oliver in the middle, Kerem intercepts, Sebalos. Out to Robins, out to Robertson. Lumps it up to Zahovic. Oh, he's just taken on his man, lovely stuff. Look at him, oh, good shot there. But Courtois grasps the ball in his arms. Lindelof with the free kick, out to time and bloody hell, it's action pack this first 10 minutes. Three highlights already. Bloody hell. Torre snatches it off him. Sebalos to Zahovic. Torre. Lucas Silva. Torre again. Lucas Silva. Matuidi. Grealish. Oh, this one touch passing. And Zahovic goes through. It's 1 0. Absolute liquid football. What a goal that was. Did you see that? Just one touch passing. And we've just torn Chelsea a new one. Lovely goal. 1-0 Aston Villa Sponsored by Espresso And here is the 3D replay Look at this Lovely stuff Grealish through to Zahovic And he coolly slots it into the back of the net He has really stepped up to the plate Now Wilson Aldo is injured He's really starting to become a player And straight from kickoff, It's a highlight and it's not looking good. Although we've just snatched it off him. And Zahovic is up. Go on. Oh, blast it over the bar. 
Of course he does. Just hype them up loads and he spoons it. We're bloody dominating here. We are really looking good as they snatch it off us. Carlos Ponk scoops it up there with lovely stuff. Lucas Silva into Kerem, Matuidi, Sebalos. Oh, we're really playing some really nice football here. Zahovic. Oh, goes round them. Has a shot, but Courtois saves it. We are looking good. We are looking really good. I'm enjoying it. You know when you when you're playing football manager and you just look at it and you're like, yeah, it's nice. Uh, although Kaltoff is with it here. Out to Lacazette. Oh, he drives into the box and a low cross and they score. Of course, an instant equaliser. As are they ever not instant? Are they ever not instant? I mean, come on. Yeah, Lacazette drives into the box. I'm sorry. Did he just Rabona? He just rabona across in. And it's questionable marking and it's in the back of the net. Oh, and they swing a corner in. And it's it's frozen for a second. What's going on here? Oh. It's a penalty. Of course it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go on. Score. Just score it. You might as well. Oh, LaFont saves it. What a dreadful penalty. And LaFont is becoming a penalty saving maestro, isn't he? He's, he's, he's saved two so far this season. Oh, well, it was a really action packed first 20 minutes, really, but now it's seemed to. Players have settled in now and it's slowing down until half time, it seems to be. Oh no, they have a highlight. Adrian Silva, Azpilicueta, Adrian Silva swings it in. Ooh, and Lacazette is on the left here. Into Oliver. Oh, it's the post and Carlos Ponk clears. Carlos Ponk clears. Carlos Ponk clears. And Carlos Ponk clears his lines. Well, we go into half time here, and I'm I'm happy. I do want that winner, but I will I will be happy if we go home with a draw here. Switching things around, you know. They used to Torre attacking, so why not go to the other side, catch them out a little bit. They're going to get a bit complacent on that side, so let's just switch it over. Plus, Lacazette is looking dangerous, so I need. I need Torre to be supporting as we kick off for the second half. I'm looking to make a change here. One of the attacking midfielders, I think I'm going to bring Danny Power on as a shadow striker on that right hand side. So, yeah, see how that fares. As we only have 13 minutes left, it's nothing's really happening. Oh, we have a highlight here. Karam, Robertson, oh, 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 swings it in, Zahovic, what, two shots from a bloody close bank range, and he still can't finish it, what on earth, bloody hell Luca. <sighs> that was our chance I feel, I think it's just going to tick over, oh, there's a highlight and it's up with us, power into Karam, power, Matuidi, has a shot, it's deflected, oh my god, it's in! Yes! We go 2-1 up with five minutes to go. Come on, let's bloody shut up shop and just win. I just want to win this. Yeah, let's show the replay and after that we will... Yep, yeah. power, Matweedy. Oh, it's a very fortunate... <laughs> it's a very fortunate deflection, isn't it? Oh, I kind of feel sorry for Chelsea there, but... Do I? Do I really? Oh, God. They've got to highlight with a minute to go. Kante, time and don't be a dick. Oh, the font. He catches it. Absolutely vital there. Lovely stuff. He boots it up. Powers there. Oh, and he gets fouled. And it's a red. 89th minute red. And I think... I think that's it. We've taken it. Not smug at all, am I? And there we are, running down the clock. Zahovic has a dig. Goes wide. 
but there is the final whistle. Aston Villa 2, Chelsea 1. Not bad really, is it? On to Liverpool. And you join us here at Anfield for a game between Liverpool and Aston Villa. Big game for either side, which leans in the favour of home team Liverpool, who line up like this. Merritt in goal, with Alexander-Arnold on the right, Michael Keane and Mamadou Sacco as the central defenders, Saar on the left, William Carvalho as the defensive midfielder, with Ruben Neves and Jordan Henderson in the centre. Adama Traore on the right, Ousmane Dembele on the left, and Andrea Bellotti as the striker. Aston Villa stick with the formation that's been bringing them success lately. Lafont in goal, Almami Torre, Ponk, Ben Mee and Andy Robertson as the back line. Lucas Silva in defensive midfield with Matuidi as the centre mid. Jack Grealish, Kerem and Danny Power as the attacking midfielders with Steph Pijnenberg over Lukas Ahovic as the striker. Let's get on to the game. I'm a kick off against Liverpool. It's a pretty big game this isn't it. They've got a decent team if I do say so myself. But they're not performing that well in the league. They're 13th. So if we can take advantage of some frailties as Adama comes through. But Lafont easily clutches it. Highlight early doors here. First minute. Sacco down to Henderson. But Kerem lumps it up to Pinenberg. Can he finish it off? Yes, he can. One minute in and we are up. Lovely stuff from the boys. I brought Steph Pinenberg in because Luka Zahovic was complaining about not playing. He's literally had every game since Will Snaldo got injured. What a mug. So, told him to get gone. And I've brought Steph Pinenberg in, which was a lovely, a lovely little move there. Because he's got that pace to get in behind. And he's got that 15 finishing to just slot it home like that. 1-0 up. Decent. It feels like we're keeping pretty tight at the back here. They've only had two shots. They've got a lot of possession, but they're not really doing anything with it. We are doing stuff with it. As they highlight Alexander-Arnold, but Lafont catches it. Because it is a bad cross. Hopefully, it leads to something good for us. As Lafont kicks it up, but Saar takes possession. Passes it to Merritt. He lumps it up, but Carlos Punk is there with Kerem to Grealish. Out to Torre on this right-hand side, who looks scared, but plays it into the middle to Lucas Silva. Power here, plays a lovely ball out to Robertson, who puts it in, and Pinenberg is there to get to his brace. What a lad. What a player he is. I like him. The Dutch striking maestro reminds me of a young Dennis Bergkamp. Not that I remember that, because I'm too young. But he's the only Dutch striker that's blonde that I could think of, really. And we go into the first half, absolutely smashing it. 2-0 to us. Right, I'm going to play Danny Power on this right-hand side, because he's not really playing that well. But he did play well on that right-hand side against Chelsea. So that is the only change I'm going to make for the second half. And we kick off for said second half. Karen with a free kick. Oh, God. Mm. Very tasty. Very tasty indeed from Karen. Look at that replay. Just over the wall. And Merritt can't save it, even though he probably should have saved it. Robertson. Grealish. Out to Robertson. Swings it in. And it only finds Lucas Silva, who's on the edge. Oh, yeah, he, look, he looked frightened. And they come away with it. Usman Dembele into Blotti. Ooh, narrowly wide there. And we keep our clean sheet. And there we have it. 3-0. Lovely stuff. And evidence suggests that it's our year. Well, thank you for watching the video. I'm going to teach you how to be a lad now in two simple steps. Step one, like the video. You know, the little thumbs up thing down below. Yeah, do that. And step two, subscribe to the bloody channel, please. And after those two steps are complete, you are now 100% a lad.